Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shailu's Updates. If you want video of height of instrument method or HOC method, click the link given in description box below. In this video, we are going to learn table solution of rise and fall method in leveling. That is determination of reduced levels. The following readings were taken with a dumpy level. The instrument was shifted after 4th and 8th readings. The first reading was taken on the staff held on the benchmark of reduced level 820.765 meter. Rule out a page of a level field book and enter the above staff readings. Calculate the reduce level of the points using rise and fall method and show the usual checks. This is an important question which has been asked almost in every examinations. First draw a table like this and enter the readings. I will explain you how to enter readings in this table clearly. These column represents back side BS, intermediate side IS, fore side FS, rise, fall, reduced level RL and remarks. Let's start entering the readings in this table. The first reading 0 0.894 should be entered in backside BS. Next, up to change in position, the following readings should be entered in intermediate side IS. In question, they have said that the instrument was shifted after 4th and 8th readings. Therefore, the 4th reading 3.016 should be entered in four side EFS because this is the first change in position CP1. CP1 means first change in position which is mentioned in remarks column. After this next reading that is fifth reading 0.954 should be entered in backside BS. Next up to change in position the following readings should be entered in intermediate side IS. In question, they have said that the instrument was shifted after 8th reading also. So, this is the second change in position. Therefore, the 8th reading 0.251 should be entered in 4 side FS and also mentioned in remarks column as CP2 that is second change in position. After this next reading that is ninth reading 1.532 should be entered in backside BS. The following reading 0.996 can be entered in intermediate side IS. Last reading 2.135 should be entered in foresight FS. Remember that Leveling survey always starts with backside BS and ends with foresight FS. Reduced level of first point has been given in question as 820.765 meter, which is the benchmark. Now you may have a doubt that what is mean by this benchmark? It is a fixed point of reference of known elevation. Now we have to find reduced level RL of remaining points that is from 2 to 9. Before finding reduced level RL of those points we need to find rise and fall. Rise means positive and fall means negative. To find rise or fall use this formula BS minus IS or IS minus IS or IS minus FS. It is quite simple. I'll show you how to do it now. Use first formula BS minus IS. BS means backside. 
IS means intermediate side. Subtract 0 0.894 minus 1.643. You will get minus 0 0.749 which is negative. So it should be entered in fall column without negative symbol. Next use second formula IS minus IS. Subtract 1.643 minus 2.896 you will get minus 1.253 which is negative so enter in fall column next use third formula is minus fs subtract 2.896 minus 3.016 you will get minus 0 0.120 which is negative so enter in fall column similarly use again bs minus is formula subtract 0 0.954 minus 0 0.692 you will get 0 0.262 which is positive so enter in rise column next use is minus is formula subtract 0 0.692 minus 0 0.582 you will get 0 0.110 which is positive so enter in rise column next use is minus fs formula subtract 0 0.582 minus 0 0.251 you will get 0 0.331 which is positive so enter in rise column similarly use those formula and enter the values under rise or fall column one thing you have to remember is always subtract from left hand side to right hand side and whenever there are intermediate side values that is is values move down and subtract that i have shown clearly using arrows last step is to find reduce level of points reduce level or l of first point has been given in the question as a 20.765 meter let's find reduce level or l of remaining points Fall means obviously you have to subtract. So 820.765 minus 0 0.749 is 820.016. Next 820.016 minus 1.253 will get 818.763. Next 818.763 minus 0 0.120 we will get 818.643 next value is on rise so you have to add that is 818.643 plus 0 0.262 which is equal to 818.905 Next, 818.905 plus 0 0.110, we will get 819.015. Next, 819.015 plus 0 0.331, we will get 819.346. Next, 819.346. Plus 0 0.536 we will get 819.882 next value is on fall so you have to subtract that is 819.882 minus 1.139 which gives 818.743 I have clearly shown using arrows for your understanding the last step in this problem is 
arithmetic check arithmetic check for rise and fall method there is a formula that is sigma bs minus sigma fs equal to sigma rise minus sigma fall equal to last reduced level minus first reduced level when you do those calculations you will get equal values hence our calculations are absolutely right i hope this video is helpful to you if you want height of instrument method or hoc method click the link given in description box if you like this video kindly do subscribe civil engineering shilos updates click the bell icon click all share this video and do support civil engineering shilos updates thank you